So if you are going to choose one forex pair to trade, which one were you going to choose? Leave your comments in the comments section below. I got this question on a previous video where somebody asked me the same thing. And I thought, uh, well, let me uh, make a video about it and also put it out uh, to you guys. So, which one is your favorite or your best forex pair to trade? Only one, not two, not three. Only one. If you're going to choose one forex pair, which one would you choose? Leave your comment in the comment section below. If you can, you can also leave maybe one or two um, reasons why you love that pair so uh, if i was going to choose one forex pair and wow it's kind of difficult uh, for me because i basically have uh, three pairs that i love but if i was going to stick to only one pair which one would i choose guys welcome back to the channel if you are new on this channel please also consider subscribing so that you do not miss future videos that's what you want to do you want to subscribe so that you do not miss future videos like this video if you don't learn one or two things in this video i promise you i'm going to give you some good entertainment so the least you can do is to just like the video well if you still feel that uh, it was a waste of time you can still give the video a thumbs down uh, and leave your comments in the comment section below if you are looking to download stuff, forex robots, indicators, books, and stuff like that, there are also links in the description box below. Uh, visit those links and see if you cannot find what you are looking for. Uh, everything that we do on this channel is for free, so everything that you download from uh, those uh, blogs is for free. You are not going to pay me anything, you are not going to pay anybody anything. Everything is for free. Many people also ask me about the broker that I use. Uh, their link is in the description box below. You can just uh, click on that link and you can go ahead and sign up. Uh, you can open a real trading account with as low as five dollars. I know people love to trade demo, but well, for me, uh, I prefer testing things in live market conditions with a live uh, account. So with just five dollars. You can start testing your strategies, your robots, your indicators before you put the rest of your trading capital. Okay, so go ahead and sign up with them. So getting back to the video, the pair that I would uh, choose if I had only, if I had the option to only choose one pair, I'm sure some of you guys, you probably or already know if you've been watching some of my videos you probably already know the pair that i would choose uh write it down in the comment section below if you know if you know before i'll give you uh two seconds before i review it one two okay uh it's euro usd it's probably an obvious one it's euro usd if i had only one pair to trade i would definitely trade only euro usd why do i choose euro usd oh, let's get into that uh as we uh, go along first of all uh for me i don't know for you for me i don't know for you it's the one of the easiest pairs to trade First of all, because it has the dollar in it, and then it has the euro in it. The dollar being the most traded currency in the world in terms of volumes, and the euro happens to be the second most traded currency by volume as well. So when you take those two and you put them together, what? Voila, you've put, uh, for me, for me, I don't know for you, uh, this is just my opinion. Uh, you probably have other thoughts if you have uh, your favorite pair that you trade. 
again uh, leave it uh, in the comment section below and maybe briefly explain why you love that pair but when you get the dollar and the euro uh two of the most traded currencies together there is there is a recipe for something good there for me uh i don't know for you uh now it also happens to be the easiest pair to trade if you ask me for example i have probably uh shared this easy strategy uh in a previous video what you simply do watch watch uh, pay attention to what we have here on uh euro usd we are actually on euro usd on the four hour chart what you simply do is you go and you take your dollar index you'll find uh, that the dollar index is doing exactly the opposite of euro usd so the easiest thing that a person who has no idea has got no idea of how to trade you simply take your open your meta trader for your meta trader five you simply put the dollar index uh my broker uh, calls it usdx some brokers call it usdxy uh, some block uh, some brokers they spell it out dollar index so uh, it depends with your broker you simply put the dollar index on your chart you go to euro usd and you do whatever the opposite that will be happening what on the dollar index if the dollar index is falling watch if the dollar index is falling the usd is buying and it's as simple as that it's as simple as that so uh explaining further why you want to be trading uh euro usd for example i know it happens with all other or most brokers as well you can see there is my spread there there is my spread there euro usd because is one of the most traded currencies in the world it's not the most traded currency pay in the world it actually enjoys low spread that's the rule of forex where there is a volume and volatility you find that the spread the spread that you pay to the broker the difference between the bid and ask prices it tightens so you actually enjoy very low spread when it comes to euro usd i think uh with my broker it's euro usd and sometimes a usd jpy but now we are actually in the london session so i think that's why uh the usd jpy is kind of tightened a bit but euro usd you can see there when we are in london session and you and new york session the the spread basically tightens because of the volume so people would want to trade uh like uh crosses and you can start to see the spread st starts to widen because because there is no enough volume there there is not enough volatility in some of those pairs that you guys love to trade but when you go to euro usd it's like bare minimum with most brokers it's just not with my broker with most brokers it's just bare minimum spread that's one of the reasons why i would choose euro usd and i would also choose it because of medium volatility uh gbp usd uh, was another pair that i was going to choose if i was going to choose two pairs but gbp usd sometimes is wild uh it loves to to, to be wild but euro usd you find that even a beginner can trade it because the volatility is not usually wild uh on average you might expect uh, uh, a decent movement uh when there's major news and stuff like that but otherwise they are not like uh, crazy wide swings and, and and stuff like that that you might find in other pairs and stuff like that so it's 
it, it has got volume it has got low spread but it's not crazy but it's not crazy that's why i would what i would choose euro usd and most people actually use you know usd as a gauge for the u.s economy uh, versus the european economy you, know, uh, you can simply there is anything happens happening in the u.s or the u.s economy you find that what you know usd if there's uh, anything positive happening in the u.s economy obviously euro usd would what will start going down if the opposite is happening with the european economy uh especially major economies like germany and and the others that influence uh the euro then you find that uh, maybe there is a crisis in the u.s economy and also the european economy is kind of stable everything is is fine there you find that euro usd what starts buying so those simple tricks those simple tricks you don't you don't need to, uh, to be a science major to actually understand those simple things uh, the u.s economy is a major economy in the world the, uh, europe is a major economic region in the world and you put those two things together that's why for me it's like a low brainer uh you know usd then you just need to watch out for news uh you know usd does respond to news especially when it comes to uh interest rates by the fed or the ecb uh unemployment figures gdp figures uh both in the us and in europe non-farm payroll um non-farm payroll used to be uh one of those things nowadays well the uh, times change but things like that uh political speeches elections in uh in europe you get ele elections and crises uh political cri crisis in europe political speeches in europe or the us you find those have got a bearing on what euro usd and natural disasters in europe and again in the u.s economy those will have a bearing on how euro usd will move so with that in mind they are basically uh simple ways to uh, trade euro usd first like what we said you can basically trade it using fundamentals non farm payroll you can easily trade the euro usd based on non farm payroll based on interest rate uh, announcements you based on political speeches and stuff like that fundamentals in europe and fundamentals in the us economy you can easily trade euro usd based on that then you can also use price action uh you can use patterns uh this is what uh for our time frame let's uh try and zoom out a bit you can see sometimes there are these channels that just form okay let me just pick this one let me just pick this one clear clear flag there clear flag bearish flag for anybody who was paying attention there and what boom it fell uh we have another uh, flag that kind of formed here uh forgive me i'm just rushing through and boom now we have uh, a channel forming up here and look behold we have come to a major uh, resistance area there a major resistance zone there usually you observe that euro usd also respects these key psychological levels these key psychological levels if you don't understand these key psychological levels i've i think i've done uh, uh, a dozen of videos or uh, showing you how i basically trade so you can after watching this video you can basically go and watch those other videos so you can clearly see that euro usd basically respects these levels it basically respects these levels and channels and trend lines easy ways to trade uh, this pair if you have if you're struggling with other pairs trust me just put euro usd on your charts put the dollar index on your charts and just watch for fundamentals for patterns uh price action 
you can put indicators if you want moving averages and I, whatever you, you 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 think you need, but you will be fine. And what I also found was Euro USD works well whether you are a swing trader, whether you love intraday uh, uh, trading, scalping, or whether you are a position trader. Let's zoom out a bit. Let's go to the weekly. See, we are on the weekly time frame now. Clear, 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 clear uh, indications there. You can see somebody who is a position trader simply saw this uh, M pattern that formed there. If they saw there and they held it all the way, ching ching, they're in the money. Ching ching. Uh, so, for position traders uh, who love to trade higher time frames, you can easily trade euro usd if you love uh, your intraday uh, trading see see it's not rocket science uh, we've got a double double uh, tap there on our trend line here and it's basically a channel that has been moving up so it's no brainer for me if you wanted to choose only one pair to trade if you are going to choose only one pair to trade, I would say go with Euro USD. But, but that's just me. That's just my opinion. I would like to hear what's your favorite pair and why you love that pair, so that we help each other. We help one another. There are people who are uh, expending a lot of energy and time trying to learn trading, and they are using the wrong. Pay. Uh, it's probably not working for them they are, because they've chosen the wrong pair to try and trade. Uh, of course, uh, people will think, oh, well, Euro USD, well, uh, let me go for maybe a flashy one, uh, your USD ZAR, USD um, uh, Mexican Peso, or, or stuff like that. Uh, there is no harm in doing that. But if you really really want to simplify things and looking for a simple way to trade a simple thing to trade i would say go with euro usd again if you have other thoughts opinions this is just my opinion by the way if you have other opinions leave them in the comment section below if you are not yet uh subscribed uh subscribe uh go ahead and like and subscribe right now and don't forget to like the video uh share it with your friends uh, again i'll see you in the next video bye